Uh, hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to create a forwarder from local to forward the event from local to ESM. So, first to do this, you would need to add the ESM destination. And uh, to add the ESM destination, you would need to add the ESM certificates onto the local first. Uh, we already have a specific video uh, show you how to add the ESM certificate as well as the ESM destination. Uh, I will ping, I will paste the link onto the this video description so you can refer how to add the uh, ESM destination on the local. And for this local, I have already has an uh, ESM destination. I name it Asai Connector. Uh, this name you can uh, display it uh, whatever you want. In this case, I will use uh, Asai Connector as the name of the ESM destination. Okay, we will move forward to create the folder. Now I will add the folder here. I will name it is to is the ESM folder. Uh, maybe a locker forward ESM. Okay. Type is Axi ESM CEF. Okay. Next. Okay. For the query I use, I will use the simple query, which is device vendor. Like this. Equal. Okay. Okay. Now you will have um. You will have the choose here is filter by time range. If you click on this one, you will uh, specify the time that you want uh, the event to be forward to the ESM is like if uh, I want to send the event from 19 June here from 19 June it will forward all the event which can be searched in 19 June here okay and if you untick this one which is this mean that the Locker will search the event in real time and forward the event that can be searched to the uh, ESM destination. Okay, for this one, I will uh, choose the uh, 19 June event just to testing. Okay, for the ESM destination, like I have mentioned before, I will choose the uh, Axi connector. Okay. I will also enable the uh, folder. Okay. Now I will save it. Okay. Okay. For the testing purpose, I will try to search this event. Here you can see define vendor equal axi I will choose the specific time which is 19 June okay I will search it okay it should be a 27 event 27,000 event uh, right now you will see the EPSL start having value it start to forwarding the event from the uh, locker to the ESM. Uh, you can choose another 
a query that you want to forward to the ESM like uh, device vendor equal Microsoft or device vendor equal Cisco like that but uh, because this is in the test environment and this one is uh, my new install locker uh, so that i only have the internal event so that's why i uh, i only forward the internal event only okay it seems it has a uh, forward on the on the event to this esm here uh, this is the esm I have received the event Okay, here you can see on this event was point to the uh, local. Here, here's the IP of the local. So, which means the event from this local had successfully forward to this ESM. Okay, uh, one more forwarder that I want to share with you is the uh, forwarder you can forward uh, from this locker to another locker using the syslog udp protocol okay to do this okay please go to the uh, data syslog destination this one here i will add the uh, udp syslog the name I will choose the local forward local. Okay, next. Okay, now IP I will use. I have another uh, local here. I will use uh, this IP. Okay, port is 514. Okay, save. Okay. Here I have create the syslog destination, and uh, in the in the folder, okay, I will add the folder. This one I will choose the local forward local type is the UDP folder okay okay just like that one i will okay okay for the filter timeline i will use okay for the ip i will choose the ip of the another locker Okay, enable it, save. Okay, the event is the EPSR is forward to this locker. And on this locker, you can see the EPS in. Okay, here you can see uh, this one is the event coming from the uh, 61 local, which means this one. Okay, this means that uh, this local has successfully received the event from this local. Okay, thank you very much.